For more than 50 years, a 200-acre section of South San Diego Bay was cut off from the rest of the bay, choking the natural tidal flow. But now, that's all changing. We're at the far south end of San Diego Bay. We're on the San Diego Bay National Wildlife Refuge. And in the last two months, as part of the restoration project, we've cut open the levee that, sep that separated these ponds from San Diego Bay. And once the tidal flow started returning, so did thousands of birds, fish, and other wildlife. So essentially you've restored this section of, of the flats from the salt activity to more of a living, vibrant, uh, natural seawater habitat. Right, by reconnecting them, it really let fish move back into the ponds freely, migrate back and forth, and, and create the conditions where we're going to get large numbers of shorebirds and seabirds moving moving into this area. A few months after the levees were breached, egrets, sanderlings, pelicans, herons, marbled godwits, and other birds were flocking to the revitalized marsh habitat. To get a closer look at the South San Diego Bay Restoration Project, we're going to take a trip on this boat. So we're now following some of these channels that we cut in here in, in Pond 10 and at, as the tide rises these exposed mud flats will, will get covered over and some of these areas you can see we've uh, head started with cord grass and the idea is that this will be an area where the cord grass will uh, take root and then expand over time and become a habitat for the endangered light-footed clapper rail. Adding the new salt marsh vegetation provides a welcome home for the endangered clapper rail. Much of the bird's natural habitat has been swallowed by development and urban growth. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Holly Henderson is one of several people wading waist and chest deep in mud to plant plugs of cord grass. So what we just planted here is we have 10 plots of cord grass that are going to be study plots for um, the next several seasons of growth. And so this is the seventh one we've put in today and we have a total of 10 that we're doing. And they're in pretty muddy areas, as you can see. So, so. you're knee deep in this? Uh, yeah, knee deep's pretty good. Sometimes we have to crawl and we use the black buckets as sleds kind of to push us through. So we put plants in them and then you kind of crawl through and do your planting. Biologist Chris Norby, a project consultant, has watched the area come to life. This is a new depression that's forming that way and a circular uh, semicircular feature right here goes around and comes out up there so that's all happened in five weeks this was all a, essentially a level marsh plain and now it's already starting to show some diversity in the topography so um, it's pretty exciting there's still more work to do before the project is finished but the work so far by humans and nature has already brought life back to this portion of san diego bay